Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. Excited to see my friends and excited to have you, Linda Waters, joining our conversation this morning. So we're going to learn all about Linda, what you're doing, and uh, some other fun things going on. But first, let's talk about what's going on in town this weekend. Not a lot. I mean, I think it's kind of quiet. I mean, it's homecoming, and, you know, it's been spirit week at the school. So, you know, every last year I had a senior and a freshman, so the themes were different. But um, Melissa's a sophomore this year, and every day leaving in either pajamas, neon clothes. I don't know what she I think today was, <laughs> she wouldn't wear the sophomore t-shirt, so I don't know what she's wearing. <laughs> but today's pep rally. Tonight's um, the Halston Hopkinton game. Right. Oh. This is the big, win the big oh, kudos the to our uh, Oh yeah, we won, we, won, we won online by viewers choice of uh, where Fox will be filming a live game and it's us. Yeah, our football game is going to be televised, televised live. Um, and I do know Western Nurseries is doing a bulb planting uh, class this weekend. Fall, you know, this is the time of year. So if you're thinking about like planting plant their bulbs, so they can sell them in the spring. Yeah, <laughs> no. Have like little pots there and have you like yeah. plant them. And you go back like in April, like here, who wants four inch daffodils? Yeah. <laughs> but we but definitely uh, want to get let people know that next weekend, um, yes, the Real Housewives Hopkinton has an event that we're sponsoring. Uh, the Be Brave Adventure Part Two. Two. Uh, Deuce. Yeah. Deuce. <laughs> so for anybody who didn't get to do it uh, this spring, it's a wonderful opportunity to support the Metro West Y and, and really have some fun rope courses, uh, wall climbing, some real fun outdoor zip activities, lining, zip archery. lining. And we let the Y kind of pick, yeah. guide what they're doing. The event is a 100% fundraiser for the Y. So you register on Eventbrite, the proceeds go to the Y. Mm -hmm. um, and the point is in a very safe environment with a lot of supportive women we get to test ourselves and do some things and have some experiences that might not be um, our everyday experience with hey, they uh, might not be my everyday experience or Patricia's but you were like you did every single one the last time <laughs> <and I was laughs> in the air you know she was a pinprick up in the trees you know zip line but I'm going up a little bit higher than I did last but, time but I, this have, time. But I have to tell you I went up and that first thing I did was the hardest one out of all of them. And there were moments there that you're going, okay, I really don't want to fall. And I knew I was safe if I did. But you have that moment of, okay, what the heck did I just get myself into? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we can talk a great Linda coming experience. this time. Yeah, but even yeah. events, you know, activities that are just this far off the ground and some rock climbing, wall climbing, there's a lot to just experience. So yep. next week, check it out. Yep. Um, come join us. It's pinned on the top of the page, on the yeah, Real Housewives page. Yeah, so check it out and hope you can join us. And yeah. happy again to have you, Linda Waters, here. You're such a fascinating entrepreneur that you are. And before you, you, you get into it. She just spoke a few days ago in Hoffington. Well, let me just say, you are an owner of three different businesses. Yes. Now, tell us a little bit about these. And then we'll talk about how you got to do all this. And yeah. there's lots to chat about. Okay, so, so I have... I shoot me now. I have three businesses <laughs> and um, and kids and two kids. Wow, we're How in college the visits now. They're fifteen and seventeen year old. Ooh, oh, yeah. kids are full wow. fun. Yes. It's actually a great age. It, it is. is great age. Um, and so so we're heading to D.C. for college. Okay. Off the long weekend. Uh, what soon? We we were just there in April, right after the marathon. We left the day after the marathon. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so I, I call myself a corporate refugee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was in corporate for 20 something years. I know. Welcome. Uh, uh, yeah. We all, what was your field? What was your area? I, I was in high tech sales and client management. Ooh, so yes. I had this great job. I mm -hmm. made a lot of money. My travel was like Amsterdam and Brussels. Mm -hmm. But I hit like a 40 something moment and I just burned out. And I, I spent a lot of time being miserable bef before I was willing to make a change. Right. Um, and I'm sorry that I wasted so much time being miserable. <coughs> but yeah. but I you might not feeling. have ended up where you are now. I, you know Well, what? that's why she's Sometimes yeah, you wishes. have to hit that yeah. to, to force to yourself make to make a change. Yes, that's yeah. so true. And it's like the human condition. We all have to get to a certain point of 
misery <laughs> before we're well, really it's a catalyst. Big girl boots and do yeah, something yeah, like that. but our big girl. It's like a life catalyst sometimes. And we, we all have different points where it's all of a sudden either a layoff or a life change or something. You just yep. hit a wall. Yep. What were you doing in corporate America? Um, I was so I managed. Can I say that? So I I managed. Yeah. Um, Oh, okay. For um, a company called Fujitsu, and so oh, all I remember the Fuji equipment and mm -hmm. stores worldwide, mm -hmm. my company procured, maintained, installed, staged all of that. Very cool. And so I had a lot of responsibility, and it was great for a number of years. But I changed. I evolved. Yes. I think, mm -hmm. and I felt like I wanted to have a more authentic life. Yeah. And I wanted, I was sick of making other people rich. <laughs> and I wanted to, and the politics were brutal. And yeah. I just hit a point where I'm like, what's my mark on this world going to be? Yeah. And it's not that job. Right. And I knew that exactly. if I hadn't got another one of those big jobs, I'd wind up in the same darn place in, in three years. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to get like out of the hamster wheel of what I always mm -hmm. did. And I spent a lot of time like really being lost. So when yeah. did you take that? big giant leap of faith of what quitting of yeah what I mean did you put a safety net out there first and dabble or no. did you just go just full I, deep I into the so, plunged into the pool well I was so deep in it that there was no way I was going to be able to shift gears or do anything right without taking a break mm -hmm. so I had some money in the bank fortunately and I, I took a break I had to like completely unplug right. in order to figure this out and so I had all these different ideas I've always had an entrepreneurial streak and um, I was going to put together a mentoring program between small businesses and, and teens in our town I was going to build a place for the teenagers to go because there's mm -hmm. the, it's yeah. bored teenagers is a recipe for Bored. disaster exactly. we all know that and um, I but none of these ideas were sitting with me I just couldn't come to it and I started to get to a point where I was panicking and um, through a series of circumstances and meeting different people that mm -hmm. pop into your life, um, I realized that I needed to just step back and settle down and pay attention to my surroundings. And I met so many women that would tell me how stuck they are. So I became really frustrated with these fabulous women who didn't know that they're fabulous because they've spent all of their time focusing on everybody else the kids the husband mm -hmm. trucking people around all day getting the groceries and and they forgot to to remember that they are the a, a, a person and um so hanging around with these stay-at-home moms oh and by the way i stayed at home for six months that's okay. as long as i last well and and <laughs> i was and your kids were little then when you made this job they were six yeah. and eight yeah i say i was off, often a stay-at-home mom failure but i also always say all moms are working moms. Some just bring home paychecks. Right. right. Well, I have to tell you that before, and I'll be the first to admit it, when I was in the, you know, working blender, um, and it was really, it was a great job. Of course. I, I was a wonderful experience, and I'm grateful for, Indeed. you know, it. Um, but I never really understood stay-at-home moms mm -hmm. and until I became one. And I swear to God, the first week, it was like, cooking, cleaning, feeding, it's messy again. Cooking, cleaning, feeding, it's messy again. <laughs> da, 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 da. And at the end of the day, somebody's pissed and there's no check. Right. Like, mm -hmm. who <laughs> could do that forever? Yes. It's not sustainable. Well, you admire those moms who can, that's for, for sure. For, well, yeah. And so getting to experience the stay-at-home part yeah. of the, like, mommy wars should not exist. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We're all just trying to make our way and do the best that we can for our, yep. our families. And so so getting to live on both sides of that divide were a big eye-opener for me. It is, it really is. And I, I, I started talking to women who, one woman's daughter was going to college and she came to me and she said, you know, I, I, I need to get a job, my daughter's going to college, and here's my resume, but nobody will even talk to me. Nice. What's wrong with me? And she burst into <gasps> tears. Mm. And so, I had no qualifications except for a business vernacular, which is a language that you learn when you work in business. Exactly. And so um, I started helping with her with her resume, and she had been the president of the, uh, of the, 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 what do you call it, PTO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different people call it different things. Yeah. Yeah. But and, yeah. um, and I said to her, why isn't this on your resume? If you mm -hmm. can manage a bunch of volunteer women, right. 
you can manage anybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got IBM, <laughs> baby. <laughs> so, but she said, I didn't think it mattered. Mm. And I thought, oh, now see, we've got a much bigger problem now. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and so I was able to put the business language to her management experience mm -hmm. with the PTO and all of her volunteer work that she had done over these years. And what we noticed was there were transferable skills. Right. So I'm thinking about this. I'm like, you know what? She's not the only one. And I was horrified with the lack of respect that women getting back into the workforce are treated with. Yeah. Right. Um, and I, but so I grabbed my corporate network. I'm a big networker. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I got my paws on every HR manager, hiring mm -hmm. manager I could. And I met with all these people to find out what we were doing right and what we were doing wrong. And I found that what the women thought they should be doing marketing themselves and what the people that would be hiring them want mm -hmm. were totally the different things. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Huge disconnect. So is this, was this the, the genesis of your uh, Back to Business? Yes. Business? Yes. And what's the name of the business? Is it, it's called Back to Business? It's called Back to Business. Okay. okay. It's a coaching uh, kind of consulting yeah, I, 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 well, I, it's more, uh, um, I stay away from the word coaching because in coach training, they yeah. teach you that that's the art of asking evocative questions to help you find answers that are already within you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you go to look for a job, there's a method. Right. Like I teach people how to do it. That's not coaching really. That's well, career coaching. Teaching. But yeah. yeah. But, but advising. Well, the, sure. I understand what you're saying. Right. You're you're actually giving them a level of training and mentoring um, to be able to adapt to how to present themselves in the fashion that makes them hireable. Yep. Okay. It's a it's a soup to nuts yep. approach. So my yeah. My job is my client's success, right. yeah. and so we start. So I, when when I was looking into this, I, I found, you know, a certain number of things were what the problem was, and they were the same things from all these different people. Mm -hmm. So I took that information, I turned it into a process, mm -hmm. and at the time, this was in 2005, before it became fashionable to be a career coach because yep, the yeah. economy hadn't tanked yet. Right. <laughs> and so um, I talked to some other career people, mm -hmm. and they all start at the resume. Right. But what right. my clients needed was something way, way different. Before. Yeah. So yeah. I, I did research and I came up with two career and personality assessments. Mm -hmm. And then I created a third to kind of balance them off. Mm -hmm. And um, I have my clients take those assessments before we even meet the first time so that we hit the ground running. And the first meeting is to answer questions like, who am I now? Mm -hmm. Because everything in life evolves and so do we. So who am I now? What are my natural strengths and talents? Mm -hmm because everybody has their own brand of intelligence. Right. And, uh, and then how could those transfer into a career? What have I been doing? Because we gravitate to what we're good at, and so usually we can find transferable skills. Right, absolutely. exactly. And the hiring people don't care if you've been home for 15 years. As long as they can identify years, what you've done that just, you can do for them. Yes, they just want to understand um, you know that you can do the job and they want to see transferable skills yeah. mm -hmm. so that's where we start and then we move into the tactical stuff like getting your resume yeah. to the other side of the search engine mm -hmm. and then people forget to prepare for the interview they oh, spend gosh. all this time oh. and money on their resume <laughs> but then they go into the interview and ramble because <laughs> they're not I, I call it the show up and throw right. up oh you God. just <laughs> blah, 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 blah. That's and it's how you know how to ask the inside so that's yeah. one of your businesses well, yes. and before we go off the topic um, you, you, so this is a program people can sub sub subscribe to it, they can reach out to you and there's a program that they can yeah. tap you for yeah. in terms yep. of yeah. services yep. so and that's it's a it. finite yeah. results oriented Great. approach Great. I mean I have taken women bra shopping we have gone to Lord and Taylor for From clothes to because yeah, so, a lot of times women are like, you know what, this is my total major reinvention. Yeah. Because they're confident, they go from like paralyzed mm -hmm. to excited. And it's such it's such gratifying work. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's they one stay, business. Do they stay in touch with you afterwards and all? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Uh, that's yeah. awesome. All so right. nice segue yeah. though on the confidence. Yeah, what's the next, tell you, uh, your other business. Oh, okay, pursuits. so through this, this, this coaching I found, or what, whatever we're going to call it today, <laughs> I found, um, I found that one of the biggest obstacles for my clients was their sense of self-confidence. Mm. And I wonder, I like, what breaks us? And I wonder, why do we run around with a game face thinking that everybody else has it all together except for us? Because that's what we do. And I, I wonder why women compare 
make themselves. Like my favorite quote is, never compare your inside to someone else's outside. Mm. That's simply not fair mm -hmm. to you. And, yeah. You know, and so. Um, yeah, we all, we all look at each other going, oh, they have it so together. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. You know, and, and, and we knew, right? And, <laughs> and, and we forget yeah. that they're doing the same darn thing. Right. Yes. You know, we all have an inner voice, and then we have the outer facade. Yeah. Well, you know the old saying, fake it till you make it. I mean, that was something that I learned from, <laughs> from a mentor of mine years ago, yep. was to pretend and, and all of that, and eventually you kind of grow into it. But well, activity you know, beats confidence, exactly. you know, all sorts of things like that. But so well, anyway, the confidence beats. those are yes. true, but beating yourself up is not no. yeah. part of you that. It doesn't does have to be part of that. Yeah. I think they're... Um, so, okay, so... I was trying to figure out a way to have women send each other empowering and inspiring messages mm -hmm. rather than competing and comparing. And so um, I thought, well, I write a book and go on the speaker circuit. No, because then I'm traveling again. No, I couldn't figure it out. In a backtrack, you do go on the speaker circuit for back to business. That's I your do. other I yeah. do a lot of Biz. speaking about I mean, you've spoken even at Mass Conference for Women, which is yeah. tens Huge. of thousand people were there last year. I think year. the biggest room was 2,400. I couldn't wow. believe. Yeah, it was. That's cool. It, it was That's a great That's quite experience. an honor to be part of that, that program. Oh, thank yeah. you. It's a wonderful program. Oh, yeah. We, okay, we all so went I'll last year. I'll do a plug year. for them because it's going to be on December 10th this yeah. year. Yeah. And um, at it's the Seaport fantastic. Convention Center, yeah. 10,000 women. Great speakers. There's yeah. so much to do. You need to like plan your day. Well, the house we, we did that last yeah, year. We had, two, we had two, we had two bands had two or something. tables. Yeah. At the lunch, yeah. And we all were in, a, in sort of a, you know, a van. We all went out 6 30 in the morning and we're down there yeah. last year. Oh, that's so. scary. So, it's so <laughs> a van down by the river. <laughs> right. But did you warn them that you were going? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a problem. <laughs> we're kind of, well, so I, 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 just because I don't want us to lose track of time, but you have this other business that evolved from helping women and, and you kind of took the symbolic component of how to build the confidence and yes so I made up this product called the confidence beads mm -hmm. and they each have their I want to show them to you oh okay. yeah that'd be okay. great so they each have a name that's inscribed in the silver on the side this oh and so oh by cool. the way oh well, we wear we oh, have our well, Boston this is so strong right this is well, the Boston strong one because this is where we I met you was at the uh, marathon yep. event yeah. and so these beautiful beads that say Boston strong we all happen to get them and we wear them and love them and the beads are such a popular jewelry item for for women these days yes and so it's such a hot thing yes. so tell us all right so I'm wearing just watch me Okay. And, the and we are. The <laughs> 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 also apropos for today. <laughs> okay. So the card says, uh, I can, I will, just watch me. Oh. Which is what I said to my husband when he said, seriously, you're going to do that? I can, I will, just <laughs> I said, love just it. Um, so the beads all have, they have the different names inscribed in the silver. They come with an inspiring message. Mm -hmm. um, there's one here, for instance, this is Angel. Mm -hmm. And the card says, where on earth would I be without you? You're an angel to me. Oh, let me see. And so have a look. Oh. So hopefully we'll get a good look at these, this beautiful array. Now they're all different. But you pick the one you yeah, want. Yeah, like this is a survivor, and the card okay. says you're stronger than you know. You're a survivor. Oh wow! So the angel bead, oh. though, I want to tell you what's happened with it. Um, I made it for my mother-in-law, who I adore. Mm -hmm. um, but cancer patients are buying it for their chemo nurses. So the whole thing wow. is taken on like this meaning. Oh, we get emails speeches. from people saying, "My daughter has the believe bead," and the card says, "I believe in you." What a simple but beautiful message to I send love to someone. Everybody needs to hear that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so um, so we ship all over the country. We're mm -hmm. only online. And so we donate 20% of our gross sales to different charities. So mm -hmm. then what happened is the charities started asking me to make beads specifically for them, like the 26.2 yep. foundation. That's the one I have on. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so mm -hmm. um, I, I had like strong. a brand fragmentation. So I needed to yeah. this is start another brand. So I started another company. Called beads. Serial entrepreneur. I know I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, the um, so called great. beadsforacause.com, oh, okay. and so all of our custom work is represented on beads for, for a cause. cause. So we oh. make beads for the Autism Research Foundation, the mm -hmm. Special Olympics, twenty six point two foundation, foundation, which is this one and here coming up soon. And okay. Well, we're not. Uh, we're not a we're special not, we're beat. Not a, we're, we're not, no, we're not, not a, beats for a cause. No, we're not we're, beats for a cause, but we okay. are we're on both websites. We'll be on both yeah. websites. Yes. So tap into your, your um, product here, and we will be offering a bead for the members of Real 
Hopkins and Housewives. And, and it's all around the being brave, confidence, and, and so... And supporting each other. Right. Exactly. And being a rock star. Right. And, and being, being a, a rock, rock star. star. So speaking we rock. of which, I have something for each of you. Oh my god! Here. This is beautiful. I just thought it was good. Good. I thought it was just laying on the table. Oh my god! Can we look? Oh. All right, we're gonna open these okay. up here, guys. Bear with us. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I love the packaging. <gasps> you oh. rock. You know, I see oh, it all the time. Yes. You rock. <laughs> Every, please see this. This is so gorgeous. gorgeous. So Thank this you. will actually be the launch of the, the Real Housewives. The you rock. Right. We're going to be offering these, selling these, sharing these. Oh, they'll be. Um, Good. And then you're going to donate oh proceeds to all the kinds of wonderful. Exactly. Different exactly. To yeah. regional charities. So the side of the bead says rock star. Oh, and it's purple. I love that. I think most, most people love that purple color. Purple is a very is, So you can get this bead on a bracelet or a, or a chain. No, yeah, I wear um, mine on a necklace. Yeah. We oh. also have. Um, I'm putting this on. Thank you very much. Good. So, and what do you have? You said um, this is a, a bracelet that I designed, and I have it made locally. And this is the clasp. Oh, the so you put so your beads on the, the oh, it's but I like silver. the clasp. Oh, I the, love the clasp this. is the, the it's an infinity. The, it's, it's a it's the a ribbon. ribbon. It's yeah. a ribbon. Yeah. but it could mean anything. It it's can, yes. whatever you know. It's it's the honoring oh, ribbon. You know? in. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, so there to come up with like the beads. I mean, you must not have a production of little minions down in your basement <laughs> making these <laughs> and stuff. Did you get the idea from other companies that are doing beads and things like that? Actually, and it's very interesting because um, I, I was just trying to come up with something and the words confident, it sounds kind of weird, no. but the sound words confidence beads came to my I love it. head yeah. like a, a ton came. of bricks right. did and I googled beads and I'm not a beady person. Well, I wasn't. But I am there now. you are. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I, I saw a bead. Now, this was before Pandora got yeah. big, so it was great mm. timing for me because mm -hmm. I had to ride that wave. Yeah. Right. Um, Pandora and we're different for two reasons. One is we donate to charity. That's our purpose. We're mm. not a jeweler that said, oh, let's give back money. so it looks good. Yet we're here for right. a reason that's uh, deeper than that. We want to yeah. make a difference for women. Um, but then, and then also we have our own names on each side of the bead. So when I had that idea, I got onto my domain host and I typed in www.confidencebeads.com. Like whoever gets right. a dot .com extension yeah. nowadays. Right. And it and came up green. Congratulations, this domain is available. And I'm like, no, nope. okay. take it, take it now. So I bought it. Yeah. And yeah. then, um, and then I got up my whiteboard. And I'm like, okay, what do all my clients need to hear? What do we all need to hear? Believe, fabulous, mm -hmm. haughty, fearless. You rock. You rock. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and then I set about figuring out the supply chain, which was a huge learning curve for me. I've never had a product before. I have no mm -hmm. idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and so, and now I, there are eight different um, factories that I work with. To develop in the U.S. Them. or overseas? Um, they're all over the place. Everything we can have made in the U.S. we do, uh, but awesome. sometimes you, can, they, yeah. Yeah, right. you yeah. can't. Yeah. And some of them are, you know, the glass beads like this, and others are really sparkly. Yeah, yeah like this right. one. Yeah, yeah. very sparkly. Never, yeah. Never, never give spark up on that? That's yeah. never give up. Oh, oh this never. is gorgeous. I mean, I just all felt are. that needed a little bit of a, a yeah. little bling, bling to it. Yeah. Well, so there's a bead called Hottie. That the card says you're beautiful inside and out. Which you are one such is that a hottie. One? This is hottie. Oh, hottie. And there's a group yeah. of women in Needham that when they turn 80, they get the hottie people. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I should give one to my mom. She just turned 90. Hey, it was, yeah. Yeah. there's she a rocks. quote She's on your website, right. and I'm trying to remember what it is that was like a may. I, that really stuck to me on the Confidence Bead website. Um, a it's, quote? It's a quote right on the home page of it. And I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, does it say believe, be fearless? Yes. Breathe. Yeah, yeah. I, I know it's the and name of the beer. Be your fabulous self. Yeah. Be confident. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But you're going to see more of, we'll see more yeah. of these as we um, go through the year. Um, we're definitely going to be sharing these or showing these at yeah. um, so our what is event is in December. So the website, we, she got the domain is www.confidencebeads.com. From there, you can actually link over to Beads, Beads for, for a Cause. Us. So right. mm -hmm. you can actually get an assortment. Um, our rock star bead will be up there. At some yeah. shortly, yeah. and um, I know that we have shopping for a cause coming up on December second again for Project Just Because, 
and um, we plan to have them out there for sale then and probably maybe a little bit before then here yeah. and there we'll see what happens well speaking of which what are we thinking so <laughs> what i really <laughs> want to do because the whole event at the y where the proceeds go to the y um it's been a wonderful group of women and everybody that signs up is really there to have an experience and be a little bit beyond their comfort zone and, and, and test themselves. And so for all you guys that sign up um, to offer the speed at a discount of sorts, we'll figure it out. Yeah. So if you sign up, um, there'll be a few available. There'll be some of these available for you to get. Yeah. And then a week we'll from tomorrow. A right. week from tomorrow, the 17th of October. So right. hopefully, it's um, a lot of fun. I mean, it really is. A and great and, thing. and so, um, on that note, we are really excited, and we want to just continue this relationship with you. And it fits so much into mm -hmm. the things we're doing here in town. We found um, just a, a really incredible community of women who have been able to interact privately and even in a large group and talk about things and get the outside connect. of the comfort zone and feel safe. Right. I think the connections it's and the wonderful. enrichment that Real Housewives has created falls right in line of what Confidence Beats is creating. Exactly. Yeah. And that honestly what we're doing here is out of all, all of our comfort zones and that right. now, we're, <laughs> now we're going on two years of doing this and yeah. all of a sudden it's like Every time we're doing like, all right, all right, we're going to go on the hour again. But, you know, it, it becomes well, fun. And, so, yeah. We, yeah, we're all pushing ourselves. And you're, you just fit right in with this. And it's been such a pleasure. Okay, thank Congratulations. You. Thanks for having me. You guys are wonderful. You rock. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you. have a great week, thank guys. Thank you all for joining us. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>